he appeared in my uh, graffitis in the like late 80s. So back then I used just to write my name on walls. All the graffiti taggers we used just to write names with letter. And I was thinking, how can I do write my name, but use something that everybody could understand and it's not a text, it's not letters. So I, I decided to use a drawing and the drawing almost replaced my, my name and became my alter ego. And I drew Mr. Ray as much as I used to just tag my name. So I used to write Andre, who wasn't the smartest thing because very quickly they uh, make the connection. Now that I'm a grown up, I use my, my family name. I think that graffiti now is also has, has a different connection that it had in the 80s, probably. So. It's totally different, like it was, still very underground and uh, movement, but uh, back then was really rare, special, unique, and people didn't even understand what it was. Now it's a, it's a world movement and the, most of the kids and young adults grew up with it, so it's part of our language, urban language, but if you go to China, Japan, if you go to any country in the world, uh, South America, they understand graffiti and they even create their own style of graffiti. It's a very unique uh, and uh, free form of art. I remember at the time some people said, oh, this is going to disappear, this is just a little phenomenon. No, it became like hip hop is the main music that we listen to. The reality is like the trains are still painted. The walls of the city are still full of uh, scribbles and tags and, um, and there's still new generation of kids doing it just for the fun of doing it. So uh, no, it's just a language. Lucky enough, uh, uh, some of the artists and the guys doing graffiti can make a living from it and that I'm just happy for that. And it's, it's really a way of expression. But once you do graffiti, you have it in your blood. You still need to go once in a while, go out and paint. There's no way, and I don't know any graffiti guy who doesn't have that urge. And uh, yeah, I'm still very fit because uh, I have to run sometimes. <laughs> I apply that uh, go and write on the most crazy places, the most forbidden places. I apply that to my life but today I do it in all the things I do. I'll, I'll do projects that people say, oh, you cannot do that project, or it gave me the, the courage to not wait for people to tell me yes or no and do, do the things I want to do. Street art is a terrible world and englobes so much everything and anything, but also back then it was not was also some shitty graffiti. It's a matter of taste. I don't like uh, everything they put on the street art. And for me, because I come from the old school, like, graffiti world, to be, to be recognized, you need to spend time and have, be recognition, get recognition from your own peers of graffiti. And like most of the movements who grew up in the streets, you need uh, to make a proof of uh, what you are capable. And that, that goes to really paint illegal stuff, take risk, and put your name up everywhere so people give you, you recognition. It's a really rough movement. It's not like, it's not like, uh, it's not soft, it's tough. It's fights, it's police, it's jail. It's, it's like any street culture. It's not like today, but I'm like almost 50, so I'm not like, but as a kid, it was uh, tough all the time. Gangs and police and people, graffiti people don't really, they're not happy when you go and paint their wall. So you take risk every time you put your name on a wall or you write on a wall. And that's not one time a day, it's like 20 times a day for years, yeah. so. It was Paris, the, being a Portuguese uh, uh, immigrant wasn't easy. You, you, were, you were not French, they would, you were part of the, the outcast. 
Yeah, of course. When I used to be arrested by police, I used to have a carte de séjour, and you would be sure to, that if you showed the carte de séjour that you would be arrested and go in jail. But, because that's it. I, I better, I used to like, better hiding your carte de séjour and say you're French, they would let you go. You would sh show your carte de séjour, they would arrest you. Wasn't, no. Today, is, I think, is changing with the idea of Europe. That's why I like how Europe is going. We're part of one country and, the, and how French see Portuguese are maybe a bit different. But back then in the 80s, you know, we were immigrants and they didn't treat us well. But I think the young generation know the interest of Europe. French always had a little they're very open-minded, but they always had a little uh, fascist side on them. Um, I think, uh, I believe in the youth, I believe in people, and I believe in, I like cultures, I like, but I don't like the idea of country and nationalities. With all humans, we should all be together. In the world you were saying where lots of extremists are coming back and nationalism is coming back, I think, that's not the right way to see the world. And I think we have things are gonna come to us like climate change and uh, IA and uh, nuclear wars and things where as humans we should uh, see ourselves like all together. Not forget our culture and our education, and, but uh, see ourselves not as Portuguese, French, Swedish, who I think is a very, it's a danger, but see us like... Citizens of, of the world. Street art is becoming a bit more political. I think just by being an artist, being an outsider, you have a political statement. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some of the artists are more clear on what they are uh, working for exactly in their work, and some is, you don't see it in the work, but it's how they live and what they do in their personal life is political. One of the essence of graffiti is that- uh, It goes is, away. It goes away. It's not made to really to last. Graffiti have, uh, with the, the, at least the, the, the people in Portugal, it's not so negative. They have a good, uh, a good uh, approach to graffiti. We don't come from wealthy great families, wealth yeah. and uh, rich. We, we come from tough. We grew up tough and we weren't like part of the elite. And we made our place. Because I could have to take guns when I was a kid. And most of we did it. But uh, we were more happy uh, giving love and, uh, and drawing in, uh, on walls. Em Portugal temos a expressão em casa de ferreiros perto de pau, na tua casa, fez as paredes pintadas. So, yes, I used to. Um, even who would despair my mom, I used to paint everywhere. But um, now, more in a creative way, I like to live in a space which is very empty, uh, just to. To, uh, to think clearly. Yeah, to think clearly. But of course, I like. Uh, I think walls are, for me, walls are like... Canvas. Yeah. canvas are, yeah. I always think that graffiti, and I call graffiti, things were made in the street. Once you come to the gallery, it's something else. And I always felt more freedom to paint on walls and don't have to make a living of just selling my paintings. So I can choose a bit where it goes, where I show them. I'm really happy they choose me like an icon. I wouldn't describe myself like an icon, but um, not talking about myself, I think icons today are people that are, that I consider like icons are people that inspire me. And people who inspire me are people who are creative, but also engage and, and care about what's happening with the world today and how could uh, make things better for all of us. I love Mango and I love that Mango loves me. And yeah, we're doing the second collaboration and it's like, it's almost natural. It's like working with my uh, friends now and uh, we came out with a, 
a new little uh, um, series of clothes that uh, are perfect. It's like it's almost they made them for me. And, uh, so yeah, yeah. Actually, in this process, we we were super involved, and there was lots of back and forth, and they were super respectful of my artistic work and, and my taste and who is quite unique often brands are very they just go their own direction and mango was very uh, tasteful and careful about uh, the relation with me and with the artist doing a collaboration with mango is also putting my name on all the sweatshirts and clothes they're doing and also I do that with people who understand me and understand my, my message, my style and, and respect me. For me it's a pop attitude, so it's like pop art in a way. But uh, I select and we, we, we really got along, that's why we did it together. Being an artist doesn't mean just painting your studio, it means trying to engage in all different areas and try to create things and create stories.